It's Kyle, and the app for today is called Expander. Uh, available for pay in City, but also for free. If you guys like the free source, it's over in the description. But remember, support the developers, they're your friends. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, it's over there in the uh, far left of my dock, and that little symbol right there is going to make a little bit more sense after we get into the application. Let's go ahead and open it up. And uh, you'll be greeted with uh, two preferences, basic, simple stuff, enable the application type of things we're just going to go ahead and skip right over there for the sake of time and we'll be greeted with this macros and uh, that's sort of maybe a foreign idea right now but it's pretty simple so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click at address and uh, go ahead and click the little blue arrow next to it and it'll greet you with this so I have at the top for my macro I have at address and I'll go ahead and hit the um, the uh, I button to basically explain what I'm trying to say. Uh, try to use a special character, uh, the explanation point or plus or something, for the first character of the macro and not something you type often. Expander will replace it with the value as soon as you type it. Basically what you're going to be doing is creating your own predictive text dictionary, I guess is the best way I can put it. So, uh, and I'll show you that in a second. So I have down there a uh, made up address, because that's not even Rosebrook, is not even a real thing, but uh, to show you I'm going to go into notes, so let's get out of here and uh, head over into notes and uh, we have a new note here so now what we're going to do is we're going to type some blah 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 and then we can type in our at and then address and as soon here let's see if we, it'll catch up as it's typed in it's immediately replaced with 2234 Rose Rook Lane or whatever. So basically that's how it works and this works in any application where text is entered so in text messaging like uh, I think you guys may have seen my first macro was like app i and so instead of just having to type out a whole lengthy courteous goodbye you can just say app i and then be done with it. But um, it can be up to you know you can have huge macros so if you want to have or some sort of paragraph like a notification you want to send to multiple contacts or also email Creating a macro for it's pretty easy, or something you send a lot, like uh, business information or so forth. But uh, to be really lazy, since there's not a lot of um, autofill in Safari, this could be used as your autofill because a lot of uh, things ask for username, password, email address, uh, credit card numbers, stuff like that. And uh, if you save it in a macro, you basically don't have to ever type it out ever again. And it will be at your fingertips with a simple at whatever. Now this can also be used for uh, typos and stuff. So I've noticed that on the uh, keyboard that I am currently using, let's go ahead and go to edit and add, just like we're adding a good old installer source. And uh, with this keyboard, the I type faster keyboard, I'm, it does not always uh, fix itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in I am and uh, I'm going to put down here, I'm going to do I, then put an apostrophe M. So for I'm. And uh, what that's going to do is that whenever I type I am, because for some reason I type faster doesn't have that uh, replacement in its dictionary, it will now automatically replace it with I'm or the correct spelling. And uh, in that way, you can almost uh, customize any aspect of the keyboard or any type of text inputted into your device. Very useful, very simple to use, kind of confusing at first, but once it's explained to you, you can, uh, it'll be very, very useful. But um, I think that's all. If you guys have any questions or uh, creative ways to use the application that I didn't say in this video, go ahead and stab them down at the bottom of this, uh, this page here in the comments. Uh, I think that is all. This has been Kyle from Mission Start. Thank you for watching.